Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. Today we're taking a Hi long everyone and welcome stab to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. I can't hate one and Hi everyone and welcome to Critical Bitches. Sorry, sorry everyone in the chat. Who who on earth has um what am I? Okay, why we go echo? <laughs> well done. Okay. Are we echoing? Okay, we're good. No. Uh, sorry, sorry, no, what are we doing? You, Amanda. Uh, sorry, sorry, no, why the fuck not? I hadn't captured audio. Uh, sorry, why the fuck not? I hadn't captured audio. Uh, sorry, why the fuck not? There's the echo. I I turned it off so the chat wouldn't get the echo. I'm still getting it every now and then. Yeah, why? What? What is going on? All right, can everyone mute themselves? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Give me a sec. Maybe it's me. That's me. <laughs> okay, stream can. Oh fuck me! I am. Yeah, it has to be the idiot, doesn't it? Okay. I've only had three and a half hours sleep. <laughs> I, I apologize, everyone. No one can hear them yelling exactly. at me now. They can hear me. Uh, they can only hear you in do the introductions, Amanda, because I am obviously not up to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we? What am I doing this? You're gonna scream, like, damn it, Jen! You're, you're telling people how awesome I am. Yes, you're telling people <laughs> how awesome everyone is. So go for it, Amanda. No, no, just me. Okay, so specifically, Kate is the fucking coolest. Uh, yes, you know, you don't know her. Everybody knows her channel. That's fucking stupid. But um, Kate, could you tell us about yourself? Yeah, uh, my online name is Bionic Dance, if you're not familiar. And when someone is wrong on the internet, I point out exactly why they're being a chowderhead. Uh, specifically with regard to religion, but, you know. Uh, and I pepper my videos with some pretty awesome, in my never humble opinion, animation. Yes, very much so. That's cool. Uh, Math Pig, everybody knows you. Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm uh, a blue pig. And I have a channel. Wow. Am I rubbing off on you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do shit Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Thursdays are good fun. Sundays and Tuesdays, I poke and annoy people. Awesome. That sounds like uh, <laughs> Sal, eases and works. You. Welcome. Tell Thank us about you. yourself. Artist, drawing, uh, I, don't, I don't know. 
Sal does all my artwork. Sal does, like, there's at least 30% of the artwork's channels are done by Sal that's on this panel now. My, yeah, mine too. And he's working on our new our new channel. So yeah, that, That's what I'm doing right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> good man, Sorry. good man. It's always my fault. Yeah. No, that's uh, right. It's actually usually my fault, but yeah. No, blame my thing. No, actually, day. today we can fucking blame Jen for everything. Hey. <laughs> damn it, Jen. Yeah, it's damn it, Jen. It's not blame. It's damn Oh, I am having a good one today. I, I think this, <laughs> I mean, we've had fluffs at the beginning of the, these shows a couple of times, and this has got to be the worst. A couple, this is our fifth the, the fucking best show, is, Jen. The best thing is, that wasn't the first fluff up. We oh, went yeah. live before. And she hadn't hit go live, and we went through it all. Yeah. Yep. Right. So, fluffer must mean something on your side of the planet that it doesn't mean here. <laughs> I know what a fluffer means as well, in that context as well, but uh, yeah, fluff we all is know an error. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this uh, and is not our... a good start. <laughs> all right. Everybody knows who Dave is. Critical Taboo. cripple. Dave, tell us about yourself. I can mostly be found arguing on Twitter, and I have a dumb questions thing on in the mornings at the moment during the quarantine. Yeah, it, it gets pretty ridiculous. <laughs> no, like, it's really ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this evening or morning, wherever the fuck you are, um, we're just talking about getting open because he said some stupid ass shit last week, and we were talking, and we're like, well. Let's Who's Ken you know, take some... What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to also point out, Amanda, when doesn't Ken Hovind say stupid, dumb ass shit? I'm just saying it was really bad last oh, it, week. I, I agree. Five. It was particularly bad what he said last week. Well, it was earlier this week, actually, wasn't it? No, yeah. it was around... Was it? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. That video you shared was real scary. I was like, wow, you, my mind got some problems. Yeah. yeah. That man's got some real so, problems. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight he is not Kent Hoven, he is Kunt Hoven. Kunt Hoven. So, there you go. Here's to that. Yeah. Cool. Can't stand him. Go ahead, Jen. All right. Um, I put together a bit of a video compilation that we're going to watch through. We're going to tear him apart. We're going to have a bit of fun. Um, a few of you are going to be drinking. I'm not because I think I'm incapable already. So. <laughs> uh, assume many humorous errors nice. during this stream. So. <laughs> And Red Bull for Red Bull for Kate. Oh, no, the hard stuff, Kate. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Doing really good. Then. All right. So, um, without further ado, I think I'll um, switch over to our playback because I'm not going to screw that bit up, and we will st watch the first clip. But um, if anyone wants me to stop, just tell me to stop. This is what NASA did and said, if the oh world's God, oceans were removed, stop, here's what would happen. Stop, They're stop. playing up. Did what you happened? do that on purpose, Jen? <laughs> well, put NASA at the beginning. Yes. <laughs> look, just, look you, it doesn't have to be personally about you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but after this last fucking week, I mean, seriously, okay. Go on, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here. I we all know that you used to work for that so we'll still No, do. shut the fuck up. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. talking about Who didn't about used to work for NASA. She used to shill. She used to, to shill to cover up their lies. Such a shame. Such a shill. I'm gonna I hope you got I'm a good shill check you. there, man. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'll keep going. Fun screen there. Mm -hmm. Here they are taking water out of the oceans, uh, lowering the sea level. And you notice the continents are growing larger because there's a continental shelf around everything. If you remove the, all the water from the oceans, it would be all land. You could walk anywhere. Okay. So the okay, ocean stop. level oh, yeah, determines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. If you remove all the water from the oceans, we're fucked. We get 50% of our oxygen from the oceans, not to mention all the ecosystems you'd be screwing. Well, he so, wants to, uh, wants to you know, well, stress the fact you could walk. That's, that's the whole yeah. point. 
Yeah. But, and that too, like, okay, so <laughs> Israelites took 40 years to, to go through the desert on a trek that should have taken 11 days, but we're going to walk from one, from fucking one continent to another for Noah's Ark or some shit? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's where he's heading with this. But I well, think it's not going to be with the precious of the Oh, oh, oh calm down, people. <laughs> a man is a genius. And then Dave. Okay. Well, the, the thing is that the 50% of our oxygen from the ocean thing won't affect Kent Hovind because he's clearly a methane breather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dave. That is true. Right. Well, the pre- surely if you go down to the bottom of where the sea is now, if there was no water, there would still be a massive increase in pressure with another five, six, seven kilometers of um, air on top of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be yeah. all, that, all that great for you. Uh, but that yeah. aside, he, he goes, oh, there, there's there's a continental shelf. Yeah, well, there's a continental shelf because that's where the fucking continents end. They still end. The the continents are these larger, thicker pieces of crust and the little bits of the land in between are thin pits of crust and they're not part of the actual continents. It's separate. And it still would be even if you drained all the freaking water away. You just have these long yeah. lines which lava plokes up through. <laughs> We'd also, have a lot more, uh, we'd also have a lot more carbon dioxide and um, sulfuric acid in the atmosphere from all the extra um, volcanic activity. I was going to say, how long before, if you remove the water, how long before there is explosive volcanism along the uh, normal boundaries? Oh, oh that's great. Right. Instantly, pretty much. Yeah, we're, we're pretty screwed. <laughs> no, I mean, if everything dies off from lack of oxygen and begins to decay, that's an issue as well. Yes. That's even more carbon. Oh, oh plus everything... Um, dies of thirst. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. But I think we would. It, it depends on. I, I don't know how how quickly it would take us to start like not being able to breathe, as opposed to not being able to source water. I I, I don't. I would have to think about that, and I don't want well, it right now. So. I find it interesting that. Like the the snowy, icy poles in Greenland are all still there. Like nothing's melted. Yeah, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> yeah, he explains that later. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, guys wait. didn't watch. <laughs> oh, I, I saw, meant to, I but it. I ended up being snuggled by kitties and fell asleep. Uh, oh, better. I, I would have chosen. Understandable. Yeah, no, I, I played that thing. thing. That was that was quite interesting. Um, was it? Uh, Jack Shot Library says, wait, I'm confused. Does Kant Hovind not believe in continents? <laughs> I, I would suspect Kant Hovind is incontinent. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Does he wear a toupee? <laughs> Lots of it's her very spin. well possible. Maybe. Yeah, so, it might be. Um, hi to everyone in the chat. Um, sorry, we, <laughs> sorry, I'm fucking useless and screwed this up at the beginning. Um... <laughs> I know there's a lot of you there, so I'm not going to go through everyone's name, and I'll probably miss a lot of comments as they go past, um, mostly because there's so many of us chatting about this. Um, don't think that we're completely ignoring you. People will occasionally look across and we'll yell out somebody who's spoken. But for now, you want I me think... to do it quick? Sorry? And do it quick if you want. Yeah, you can do a quick one if you want. Hello, Amiga Nuts, Beach 8, GSM, going to go for it. Big, th- big voice, big voice, big voice. Jasset, <laughs> Jen's Little Corner, <laughs> Julie, Junk Shop, Master Zenith, Nerdy, R- Richard, Rory, Seraphim, Richard, Vagrant South, Zapostate. That's it. <laughs> That's my list. It's for you to go fast. Uh, and Junk Shop, I'm allowed to talk bad about myself. I, I am aware that I screw things up, and that happens, and it's part of the fun of doing these things. You know, you get on a live show, you get to see our mistakes, which is kind of cool. As long you as, managed as, to as, have as work. you don't, don't look stupid in the middle of them, like I did. You managed to have a working oh, show within three Some minutes of the start time. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like it wasn't like our fun last night. Um, anyway, I've sidetracked us. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> I think you missed somebody in the chat, Dave. <laughs> Who? Well, apparently Han Thunder Nipple Sanitizer. <laughs> no, no, I said, I said and that. Kevin H. Oh, you did? I didn't you say know, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. I didn't see Kevin. You like Richard's beard. I didn't see Richard's beard. Yeah, they just came on. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know about Kevin. I didn't see. Wait, let me look. We might have missed Kevin. He, he might have. Everybody forgets uh, about Kevin. It's awful. Yeah. 
Wait, that Kevin's lovely. I don't see him in the earlier chat, though. <laughs> oh, there he is. Way early. All right. All right, yeah. Let's um. Let's let's go on with the video. <laughs> the size Fine. and shape Fine. of the continents. Nothing to do with continental drift or the stupid Pangea theory. This is NASA's opinion of what would happen if you could lower the oceans. I just like to say, this is not NASA's opinion of continental no, drift or any any of that shit. This is just NASA's animation of what would happen if you lowered the oceans. What does he it's think? Their opinion. Move, does he not believe in continental drift at no, all? He, he doesn't. Not believe in no. Or Pangea. Oh, okay. Well, he, he can't really, because he would have had to have had the continents all drift from there in 6,000 years. <laughs> Yeah, this, they're either traveling problem. miles an hour. That this is oh. his problem. It but in denying the the age of the universe, especially the age of the Earth, he is uh, he has to deny all other science to fit in his worldview. Yeah, so he does. He denies <sighs> it. All. But he's a scientist, don't you know that? <laughs> he's a con man. He's a con. He fucking, why does he wear a lab coat? He's not, that's not. Dr. Not, because brought, yeah. Because he has brought a doctorate. He yeah. got his doctorate at a trailer university out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but mm. there are still, you know, you still, there are only certain, like, it, 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 I wouldn't wear a lab coat. I, I don't, I, you, I, you know. You basically need to work in a lab to wear a lab coat. And not, yeah. all, not all We're PhDs work in a lab. The man is a con man. The, the man is a con man. I mean, what do you expect? You know, is he's gonna do everything to to. Does he think he make, it makes him look more smart? Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly, oh, exactly. the image. Part of, another part of it is him more. Just, what just he's to say, about. just to say, more smart yeah. isn't good grammar. It's actually, do you think it makes him smarter or look smarter? Yeah. More it's, smart. It's, are you yeah. fucking kidding me? <laughs> it the most sense if we look at the lab coat and say that's a costume. Then yeah, it's going to be mocking science. Can you kick math pig, please, for a minute. No. No, I'm just kidding. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> I am not fucking around with that. <laughs> you no, 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 please don't. Uh, so Paul states, like, didn't he recently wear a stethoscope, too? I think he oh, should wear one of those headband things that, with the reflector on it. You know what I'm talking uh, about? He, he should wear oh, one of those reflector oh, things. Shit. They're like I'm the sorry. old tiny doctor things. Uh, my bad. Well, that was totally my fault. <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut. Work, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's a pain in the ass me having to swap between things. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Damn you, man. You shouldn't have kicked me. You shouldn't have kicked me then. I did yeah, kick man. you. <laughs> uh, that's fine. You do it again. Yes, I'll leave you there. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. All right. Shall we continue? Or was there anything else? No. Yeah. Continue. Okay. Please. Let me back up a little bit and hit pause. It's a little technical because this is uh, playing backwards on our screen here. Okay. Let me pause it and notice, let me notice something here. Where's the mouse? Okay. Well, okay. Uh, let me back it up again. <laughs> My mouse is backwards. Ah, uh, Steve, this is what? okay. Right there. Okay. I think the rest of it is backwards, too, but that's, yeah. that's my... There's a he lot of backwards. shit backwards about this. It ain't his mouth. Yeah. I, I, I'm guessing because they were... That I'm guessing they were projecting it, so they had the screen flipped before they projected it, so yeah. it would be the right way around, and he just couldn't figure out how to use that. <laughs> With his laptop. Oh, no, 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 no. Sam is here. Sam is here. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Yeah. Hey, Sammy. And Zip Postate and Julia. Hi, Zach. We already said hello to everyone. Apart Did we? From... Yeah, oh. Sam just got here, and fuck you. I love Sam. Love didn't you, Sam. Santi just get here as well? I don't know. I've lost track. <laughs> oh, hi, like Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anything else? Because uh, I stopped that for me. <laughs> All right, I'll keep going. Now, if you lowered the oceans, what is that? Uh, 2,500 meters? Does he not if know how much just 300 feet, is? Uh, 100 meters I don't meters think he knows what a meter is. Ocean, exactly you know, it would connect <laughs> everything. Uh, well, I mean, come on. <laughs> how many Americans do you know what a meter is? 
we don't we nothing from the Americans. <laughs> well, a meter is kind of like a yard, only different. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> the same distance. Yeah. I'd play. Right, I mean, play. they call them meters, but I've never seen them meet. <laughs> <laughs> Number one for Kate. <laughs> You could walk anywhere in the world. <laughs> and, we get the, and the question about the kangaroos is pretty simple. <clears throat> Easy. I believe at the end of Noah's flood, the oceans were smaller because the ice caps were huge. I think everybody agrees there were huge ice caps on this planet at one time. There's evidence of glaciers moving across Nebraska. So, what? So he but the really time scales on that is... Yeah, I know. Years ago, so, so I, there he been... thinks there was an ice age, uh, uh, an ice age that managed to freeze all the water on the planet in the year well, of, all, of Noah's flood. <laughs> Everything <laughs> only happened from the United States. That's another thing you gotta you gotta notice. My man doesn't consider the rest of the world. He only considers yeah. the United States. The, well, the I have to wonder, like, how hot would all that all that ice get to melt that quickly? Yeah. Yeah. In that, it, but I mean, I mean, considering that the in the last six hundred fifty thousand years there have been three, I think, uh, glacial periods. Uh, that, that's impossible. And also, it, it's not the whole fucking world that freezes in in you know that that time. So I don't. Well, okay. Well, Sorry. I mean, it's really worse than that because he's gone from a flood that covered the entire earth with forty feet worth of. Well, up to no, up to the height of Mount Everest because it covered the whole earth, so it had to go to the top mm -hmm. of Mount Everest. So, what's that? Uh, 11,000 is it 11,000 feet? Yeah, about that, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Of, of water. And right from the this. end of the flood, by the time Noah lets all the animals out, all that extra water has to also be frozen, as well right. as the water that we have well, now. And we're talking about instantly, so you can let the animals out. We're, and you know, in terms of like what the the ocean water is, and what is uh, what makes up what's you know the, the glaciers and stuff. Those that's not ocean water. That's that's uh, snow that has fallen and stayed frozen because it didn't have a chance to do so or didn't have a chance to melt. Yeah, it's I had a dream where you said exactly that last night. What? I had a dream where you said exactly that last night. A fucking you weird that in dude. Dream? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, after everything went away, all the water and the animals got off the ark, what they eat? Like seaweed? Was that all they had available with seaweed? Dead fish. Or all the all the fish that didn't, like, manage to go back with the rest of the water and are flopping around on land? Did they eat seafood all that time? What did they well, eat? Well, uh, wouldn't all the each other. Uh, it's I just ridiculous. The, 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 the amount of... of, of, of Gymna mental gymnastics that he does is just that's why yeah. I asked him to tweet like does he get paid like how much does he make because uh, he, he, he he's not he make a fortune he's yeah. getting people to volunteer to build his park that's what I'm saying there you go there, there you go yeah yeah the, the man's a tosser yeah all right shall we continue <laughs> yeah. yes Scratching the Rock, Glacial Grooves, Kansas City, Missouri. So there was certainly an ice age, and the ice came all the way down to the middle of the United States. If the ice and caps ice are larger, now this might be a little complicated. All right. Last time all the water on Earth froze, we had a snowball Earth. The entire Earth was covered in ice. It didn't come all the way down to the United States, you dickwad. Uh, and mm -hmm. thank you, Rory. I, I said way wrong on um, Mount Everest, 29,000 feet. So 29,000 feet. Of extra water would have had to have been on the planet. Well, it's because you don't know feet. That's why. Yeah. Hey. It's not yeah. our kink. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah Jen loves her. Yeah, uh, I'm not yeah. going to be the first person. Yeah. Love you, uh, Matthew. <laughs> I've got, got a half formed joke about Kent Tovind in my head, but I can't make it work. <laughs> Was he in a Tarantino movie by any chance? No. <laughs> what saying. Tarantino movie was Kent Hovind in? No, it's no, because Tarantino, Tarantino has, has a foot fetish. Foot fetish, big time. How do you not know that? Is that anyway. That's that why he likes cutting people's limbs off in 
No, if you watch it, they're, all the pretty women, he's always got close-ups in every single movie. You always see close-ups of their feet at least a couple times. No, even he does. Dirty, I, I, how out, did you out. notice that? Says yeah, there, there's even like, what is it, from Dusk Till I, Dawn I, I where can, she sucks on a woman's toes or something? Like, Yes, yes. I, I can just back said that Hovine that. claims that Everest wasn't there during the flood. So not only was there this instant snap freezing of all the water, which would have killed everybody if you got that cold, and then an instant unfreezing of it all to fill that back up the oceans, there was an instantaneous, well, over a couple of thousand years, I guess, creation of Mount Everest. Wow. Hey, wait, 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 are you sure on a it, magic planet. <laughs> are you sure that the glacier didn't work like a bull bulldozer and push some of the Asian... <laughs> rock up and create the mountains that way this is oh, yeah. my question okay do they come up with this bullshit together do they like all the the crazy creationists like have some kind of yearly retreat or they're like let's figure out our science and then they all stick with it or do they all no, have different no. theories for everything well firstly most of them think he's fucking nuts yeah, well, good. there's good that's pretty fucked when other create when creationists think you're fucking stupid you got an issue, so right. but mostly what oh, they do. Oh, Ben Hoven doesn't have an issue. He has a whole subscription. Yes. <laughs> mostly what they seem to do is they work out solutions to very small problems. So, for example, him trying to use the the the, the, the lack of the, the water, they remove all the water and it'll create land bridges. Well, that's a solution to how things could have crossed, but they don't then apply that to anything else. Yeah. Because yeah, and they can't use... see a big picture at all. No, mm. well they can't, they can't. They can, but as soon as you start to see a big picture, it all falls apart. It, it all falls apart. So they don't. They talk about the little things and they don't go into the big things. If you ever see can't have a debate, he ignores all the all, all the links and he tries to gish gallop through all these minor points. So mm. he's he, he's an uh, he's an asshole. He's a fucking asshole. There you go. I've said yeah. it I don't think asshole yeah. quite describes it. Yeah. They just don't. So yeah, definitely he's a K U N T. <laughs> I've already said it, so Yeah, I know you did. Well, yeah, I've, I've, I I've seen Trekkies bend their cannon into fewer pretzels than this guy trying to justify the Bible. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean I'm trying to turn. He's failing. Yeah, um, Doctor Who has less juice ex mechas than um, Kent Hovind's theories. <laughs> okay, we'll keep playing. Okay, now. go ahead. Play. For some of you atheists, if, you, yeah. if the ice caps are larger, that automatically makes the oceans lower. Wait, we Ask your mama to explain it, okay? So as the ice caps melt, it's going to add this? water to the oceans, making the oceans deeper. Ben. Sorry. Sal asked you to rewind it real quick, please. Right before, it. Atheist, atheist, yeah. Sal. Uh, right before he says atheist, like a two minutes, two three minutes. No, it was like it was like fifteen seconds since he said it. Go back, go back the like thirty seconds. This might be a little yeah, complicated for some atheists. Right if you, ah. if the ice, I talked over it. Sorry. Right there, right there, right there, right there. All right, you ready? Go. An ice age. And the ice came all the way down to the middle of the United States. If the ice caps are larger, and this might be a little complicated for some of you atheists, if, you, okay. if the ice caps are larger, that automatically makes the oceans lower. No. Uh, you're a dipshit. <laughs> so here's the thing. The ice caps don't sit on the ocean. They, they're on, you know, there's, they're mostly on land up there, besides the fact that, you know... It, that stuff is a lot of it. I mean, some of it will will drain out in the ocean. A lot of water for, that's that's on land drains out in the ocean anyway. But it also it's not going to like go throughout the whole Earth. Most of it will stay in the area that it's in if it melts. Because it's not because at the degree it's going to melt, unless it like we get completely irradiated and it's it's you know melted like that. It's mostly going to stay within that area because you're talking about having you know fresh water and salt water mixing. It's not going to immediately just pour over the earth and, 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 you know, make the oceans rise like that. It, that doesn't make sense. Well, also water expands as it freezes. So, you know, the, the size of the ice caps is not immediately proportional to how much water is left. Yeah. Well, water expands when it becomes ice. So, um, right. yeah, so, so the, the amount of 
um, sea level rise you get from melting the ice is going to be... Yeah, it's like an ice cube in a crust of water. Yeah. The this water is what I'm saying. Um, yeah. Now, I've got a question for you there, Amanda. Because you're a climate scientist. If when the when the ice caps eventually all melt, how much does that actually raise the sea level? Seventy meters, but they probably won't because no, I mean I, I realize they won't all melt, but yeah. But it, they, so, so it's only seventy for, meters, and yeah, so, seventy meters. I mean, I I so might yeah, not his, be happy. His, his calculations on the coast, seem still. really wrong. Ben, shut the fuck up for a second, Kate. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's totally her. She does this all the time. Go ahead, Kate, please. Oh, no, all I said is I probably won't be too happy about it here on the coast, but it really won't affect yeah. all that much, will it? Well, even at 200 well, feet. It'll end up if we, okay, so 20 meters. Um, 21. Ends up, 20 meters high ends up uh, displacing about 20% of the earth, like because 50% of, of the people on earth live on the coast. 20 meters will end up pushing us back, uh, you know, 20% of the the population of the earth. Uh, 70 meters, I think it's closer. You, you end up getting closer to that entire coastline, closer to 50%. So, but it still doesn't fucking kill everybody. And plus, it gives us time. It's not like it's going to rush up on land and fucking tsunami us all. We're talking about, you know, a, a small rise like it's doing now. So we would I mean, be able I mean, to move ourselves before we are underwater. Yeah. Don't tell Florida, okay? Don't tell Florida. Right. No, I got family there, I gotta tell them. Okay, well, I'll give you that, but the rest of them. Yes, Dave? Right. Dave? <laughs> oh my. That's a great, that, that was good. He does look like a plug. Do it, do it. Smack a hoe. Whack a hoe. Whack a hoe. Uh, Actually, I think he's more of a lemming. <laughs> oh, yeah, he threw himself off the I remember when court. you got that. <laughs> and I love that. That is awesome. <laughs> All right, shall we play again? Yeah, we're good. Ask your mama to explain it, okay? So as the ice caps melt, it's going to add water to the ocean. Mama Atheist, can you explain it for us? <laughs> I think I just did, and I told you he was wrong. So yeah, I know. I just, I just had to say. I that. know, I know, because that pissed me off, though, because it's, it's so degrading for him to say that. Like you're, you're an atheist. You're so stupid. Ask your mom to. to uh, especially when you know, it comes from to him, because he is dumb as all shit. Well, I mean, and this picture, like this still frame right here, he looks like a senior citizen who just soiled his depends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Thanks for so saying that while I was drinking, Kate. That was awesome. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I don't think he just has. I think he's in the middle of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just so, it, just so you guys know, if you want to grab grab this out of that um, video <laughs> footage, that's at two minutes twenty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jim. Think, never mind. Hold on. I'll, I'll take it. Never mind. Just check okay. the private chat. Oh, okay. Well, I can't see the private chat. Sorry. Oh. Damn it. Um, but you throw it to Amanda. She can um, always let okay. me know. So. Uh, I'm not getting on Twitter or on here because neither of them is coming up. No. Uh, I haven't done it yet. Which one should I do it at? <laughs> uh, do it on here. All right. Um, shall I play or am I waiting? Yeah, go and play. Yeah, sure, okay. spin on. It's making the oceans deeper. Well, if the oceans get deeper, the continents get smaller. So if, for the first hundred years or so after Noah's flood, the ice caps were larger and the oceans were smaller, you could walk anywhere in the world. Take a look at the brown area here between Vietnam and Australia. The water between Vietnam and Australia is generally about 30 or 40 feet deep, you know. I like the fact he asked people to have a look, but you actually can't see Australia on his map. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's much more realistic. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's much more likely... I'm trying to justify ridiculous things, but it's much more likely that you would get a fucking glacier there that you could walk over than yeah. it is that the sea level would drop that much. That well, you could... it, he would be even better if it off did, asking I have for to ask. freezing. 
Well, I have to ask, where did Noah's Ark make landfall? Like when everything went away and there's continents again, where where did it dock? Because, Middle you know, he's, he's saying like you could walk from Australia to New Zealand or whatever, and that's how the kangaroos got there. But like, who says that that's where the, uh, like was Noah's Ark making pit stops along the earth to drop people off? What's going on here? No, no, he says they they're walk. walking. They walk. They walk. They walk. But, they walk. Okay. but, I mean, but where, how long where? would it take to walk? I mean, if it they, they they reckon it came to a stop on Mount Ararat, right? Right. That's so, Turkey. So Turkey. Oh wait, that's where that's where Noah's Ark. Yeah, that's, where they, they remember, Ararat. that's yeah. where they think it did. That's where he thinks yeah, it did because Ararat. he thinks that that, that was info I didn't have. Yeah. But is that not the place where the where the, the stone structure is? That, that, yeah, that, that, that and was the hope? Hovind thinks that's what it is. So that's where he thinks the ark stopped. He thinks they walked from there. Now, if the animals all walked from there, so so kangaroos hopped from there to Australia. Well, no, I already I already told you in the previous on video the how the, I already told you in the previous video how the kangaroos did it. The kangaroos were four hundred foot tall. There wasn't that many hops. <laughs> So how yeah. did they fit on the ark? Hey, Jen, check your Twitter really quick. Um, my question is, where are they getting water from? Because it's not like they're, you know, once they these ocean the drains. Water. Yeah, but those, you, even, you know, okay. the salt water's gone even, but it's not okay. like there's going to be fresh you water in there. That. That's not and happening. Without, right. It will drain out really oceans, quick. Yeah, easy. Without the oceans, you have no storm systems and stuff, so it's not going to fucking rain or anything. Right. So. I mean, unless they collected the water that was raining for 40 days and 40 nights. Then they would have sank the boat. <laughs> I'm, we're about to see some juggling. Yeah. <laughs> but look how sad he is. He's really sad. He's really sad. Yeah, the, the, I, I agree with Kate, though. The dog is too cute. The lemming <laughs> makes more yeah, sense. Yeah, right. I like pugs. All the things I had on the shelf are too cute. <laughs> <Don't take that laughs> one. Thank you, Jen. No problem. It wasn't a biggie. I just saw it. And I, oh, sorry. I didn't even realize it done it. Uh, yeah, me either. Don't even stress it. It wasn't even a big deal. It was just something... Continue. Okay. I don't mind. You, if I make a mistake in writing somebody's name or something, tell me. Yeah. If I can fix it, I'll fix it. So, yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. If well, I, I, you know, okay. I do have to wonder. Like, clearly, he calls himself Kent Hovind. Yet, for some reason, Hovind comes out of your head. What's up with that? Huh. Mind, mind. Just make fun of his dumbass name. Hovind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer Hovind. <laughs> That's the one I like. Cunt hoves. Cunt hoves. Yeah, rolls nice. That's nice. I like that. So, go ahead. You can press play. Uh, Rory Herbert, an elephant disembarked from Noah's Ark, turned around to his partner and said, "That was a disappointing cruise. It rained every day." <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll keep going. Oh, wait, from wait, here wait, to Steve. Wait, wait, wait. That's it. Lowering the oceans average 12,000 feet deep. So, lowering the oceans 50 feet, 100 feet is all you would need to connect most of the continents, and the animals could walk anywhere, anywhere on the planet. Today, so if you had a long pair of stilts, 40 or 50 feet long, you could walk over to Australia right now. Right yeah, there. I like that. You could, uh, you could walk on 40 foot stilts to Australia from Indonesia. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm going to try that. I'd rather try it with a dune buggy. Oh, like, like, Big uh, inflatable tires. What, what the fuck is that? Oh. So the uh, end, of, have end of the world movie. Um, a... Some battlefield. No, eh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> I'm thinking of the video, right? you know what I mean? Yeah. Where they're going through the desert or the wasteland. But it's based on a movie. Never fucking mind. I'll shut up. Go ahead. Mad Max? That could be anything. There are so many movies that fit that description. Yeah. But, it was, Max, but that's sure what's normally. Okay. Anyway. We'll All keep right. going. Uh, sorry, I might not be in the right spot because I accidentally clicked the wrong button. <laughs> was flood. The ice caps were larger and the oceans were smaller. You could walk anywhere in the world. Take a look at the brown area here between Vietnam and Australia. 
I don't want to take a look at his brown area at all. <laughs> yeah, I think it's between his ears. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's next to his brain. That's what I said. He's one of those. Ask about face, right? The water between Vietnam and Australia is generally about 30 or 40 feet deep, you know, from here to Steve. That's it. Lower, the Wait. ocean's average 12,000 feet deep. Did he say from here? Did he say from here to Steve? Yeah, he's talking about somebody <laughs> in the room with him is 30 or 40 feet away. <laughs> somebody, somebody in the room that none of us can see. Yeah. And Jen, check your Twitter again. Oh, okay. Uh, Keep talking amongst yourselves. Isn't the Mariana Trench over there? <laughs> I will put that up later. Okay. <laughs> thank Jasa for that. Uh, thank you, Jasa. <laughs> Every time you pause it, it's just fucked up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're really stoned. I mean, like, really, really stoned. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. couch lock stoned. I, I, don't, I don't care if we make him look silly, because he makes himself look silly. <laughs> Yeah. I, I will press play again. So lowering the oceans, 50 feet, 100 feet, is all you would need to connect most of the continents, and the animals could walk anywhere, anywhere yeah. on the planet. Stop. Today, if you had a long peristyle. Oh, hey, hey, I've done it. You've done it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lady. I just wanted to see her face. <laughs> okay. Can I? Oh, that's a smug, arrogant look on his face at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. So he this looks issue like here... he's about to spit into a spittoon, you know? <laughs> One of those. So he just has this idea that the animals can just go wherever the fuck they want because we have these things called ecosystems and they're incredibly fucking delicate. And everything is connected with, with food webs and with you know temperature fluctuations and all this shit, animals do not move out. Animals or flora or fauna do not move. You do not see in the picture all the grass in yeah. you know, all all the thousands of miles of grass between the continents. Well, then, <laughs> the, 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 the they didn't die spend... after after being under salt water for forty days and forty nights. <laughs> well, and all of these animals just spent more than a month cooped up with each other. You've got all these predators full of energy and ready to eat something, and they're all just dispersing out from the ark. You'd think there'd be nothing but predators left after that. Oh yeah. But I mean, even even on a logical level, to to go back to it, there, how fucking long? If you you could take a, what is it? Either two of each kind or six or whatever the fuck it is. Depends on which book you read. Um. Of, of each kind to build up, find we, we get more of them, but to build the ecosystems back up to make the earth what it is now, it would be a fuck ton more time than 6,000 years. Oh, yeah. Let alone oh, the fact yeah. that it just wouldn't work. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. biodiversity is not great enough with two of each kind. Sorry, they're all dead. We're all dead. How long, wait, 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 how long can trees survive without breathing? Oh, not, not 40 days. No. No, all the, all the plant not. life is dead. It's salt water. It's not even fresh water. It's salt water. So nothing. So no, there would literally. Kate's right. There would only be meat-eating predators alive. Yeah, and not for long. No. <laughs> there would be one meat-eating predator alive. I, there, there's the whole <laughs> issue too of the the, the ark is a, a is a huge, enormous wooden, well-sealed boat apparently with only one window. How long and a lot with methane. all that shit coming out of all those animals for it to fill up with fucking methane and everyone to die? And that you, you know, it's been raining. It get it's cloudy. It's going to get cold. You cannot light a fire in there because there's so much extra methane. Oh, yeah, I've seen the torches. Oh, they can't. I've seen the that. pictures. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> just shit. <laughs> Literally, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, layers, just had one torch burning the whole time so that incrementally the methane gets burned off instead of just all at once. Okay, but then you just raise your carbon dioxide levels to enough to kill people anyway. 
Well, I'm animal. not saying it makes sense. <laughs> no. None of this makes the sense. The, uh, uh, they must have taken... They must have taken I, many oh more animals. Each Sarah floor would die for, automatically. Sorry. I mean, if I can retcon the Bible, so can he. It, I mean, it's not like it's going to make sense. It's not like it's going to be accurate. But I can come up with bullshit, probably better bullshit than he can, to explain the arc. I want to read out the two things in the thing. Julie Lavoy said um, two, of, two of the clean animals and seven of the unclean. In my personal experience, most animals are unclean, so... <laughs> Um, most well, most animals seem to lick their own ashes. I'll call that unclean. Yeah. yeah. And Sarah from Hyde said, my church claimed that the animals did not poo. Did they not? I've... See, this is what I don't understand. If you're using magic... Why didn't God just do magic them? at all in the first place? That's, that's yes. true, though. That's the answer. It's always, well, God figured it out. It's magic. It, you know, so why there, did he God fucking that thing out magically. Why did he need God? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, clearly, the, clearly, the boat uses some sort of time lord physics anyway to fit all those animals on it. I mean, the is art the like, Does anyone think is, the art is, is the There is one fucking guy. There is a guy six or so thousand years ago, right? Who it was fucking raining heavy. His lake flooded. He got his cows and his goats onto a fucking raft and kept them alive. Yeah. And landed them. Well, that's what happened. <laughs> and then the story grew with each telling, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No gods required, which is typically what happens with all of this Christian bullshit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to any Christians in the chat who, do you think who that, don't like, think this is a real story. Do you this... think Noah had to take the ark apart to build his next house with all the trees gone? Why didn't he just live in the ark? Well, because there's no water left, it'll tilt over. Uh, yeah, but wait, wait, wait for it to tilt imagine, over. Imagine the spring cleaning after that. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Give it a shit. I'll <laughs> <laughs> give it a few months, and the dung beetles will move it all out. How the hell did Noah actually get enough trees in to, in um and around the area he was to actually build the fucking thing in the first place? I've seen a film about this. Magic forest was sprung up. Oh, really? Of course. Of course. Of course. Can you tell us about it, Dave? <laughs> no, because I can't remember. But there was definitely <laughs> a magic forest that sprung up when Noah put a river down or something all around. And yet why, Christians why, will say why they couldn't don't there just be a magic, magic boat? <laughs> I exactly. mean, like, you know, I mean, I mean, it's like, here's your magic forest. Now do weapons great carpentry. I mean, no, 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 just poof me a boat, God. Yeah, why didn't God just fucking do that if he did all this shit? Because why iron is poisonous. Make him, how long did it take him to build that fucking ark? It was a long time, wasn't it? Probably. 120 years. Oh, yeah, wasn't he like 800 or 600 years old by that point, too? Yeah, he was He was something, it was, it was like seven or 800 years old. So. Ugh. Uh, he was an old fuck. <laughs> Like, bit like Ken I mean, Hovind. talk about <laughs> weapons grade arthritis, you know? Uh, is, you're asking I, I... this this very senior citizen to build a pleasure cruiser for your animals? I don't think so. Then again, he had a family. Maybe he just directed the operations and had them build it. Well, no, they he was had, management, had, not neighbor. He did have his uh, sons-in-law help, but he was still the main builder. In, I don't know. <laughs> maybe they oh, like enslaved, maybe, maybe it was management and not labor. <laughs> maybe yeah, they enslaved maybe. another tribe that had another book that we lost. R Rory Herbert goes, Very major well problem with the ark is that Noah hoarded all the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and damn it, all my SpaghettiOs. Yeah. I can't get SpaghettiOs during the plague. I'm sorry, I'm pissed. Yeah. Oh, yeah I'm struggling sorry. to get beans. Sam, it was it was a metric fuck ton. I promise you. So, anyway, go ahead. I'll press play. It's forty or fifty feet long. You could walk over to Australia right now. So after the flood, the animals moved out away from their various, uh, away from the ark, whichever direction they chose to go, and the kangaroos happened to go southeast, I believe, and they ended up no, in I have a Australia. I have a question. The same it. Where's the kangaroo poo? <laughs> That wasn't the question. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
so so what they like just a couple or a, a half a dozen of every species on earth like had a like like almost an order 66 switch flip in their brain and know exactly that they needed to to go and and find this fucking ark is that it no. how, how did they, they get there in a circle they put all the animals in a circle and then they put the lions in the middle and they just all fucked off <laughs> no i'm not saying when it was time for them to, to to go find the ark like how did that happen how did they know they needed to get onto this ark oh, god, god where to god god to know her. God, yeah. didn't you know? I mean, the really weird thing is things like marsupials. How did all the marsupials go to Australia? Know to go to Australia? Oh, not it's all of them, what because Sam some, just one said, of them by the went way. to South America. One of them yeah. got lost from the pack. And one of them got South lost. <laughs> yeah. One of them swam too far. Yeah. But, <laughs> and that's the interesting thing. Like, okay, he's explaining how it happened afterwards, but did this fucking freezing of all the water happen beforehand so all the animals could get to... The fucking ark. Mm. How did they get there? Like you said, Amanda, how did they get there in the first place? Oh. How did they even know they needed oh. to? I Obviously, like back in those days, uh, all marsupials were of the same kind. So there were only kangaroos, and eventually they evolved. Wait, no, they couldn't have evolved into wombats. Yeah. <laughs> they turned into wombats. <laughs> that's, that's the term. Yeah, I, it's just uh, the the fact that they actually have to believe in this super accelerated evolution to make this to make their thing work, and that the evolution's not real. <laughs> no, the man's crazy. Mental crazy. gymnastics. Yes, and it's, Sal is right. It's just mental gymnastics, and it's fucking. It's a lot. It is. He's doing so much more work to figure out a lie to fit his fucking agenda than to actually learn the real shit. And that's what, that's what just well, the problem is, Here's the problem. Oh, I think part I of the problem. He knows the real shit. Well, part of the problem is that the real shit is kind of boring, actually. That, that like, you know, <laughs> there's so many technical details. There's, there's math. His more fairy tale esque magical story because it makes sense to his infant brain. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's true. He needs some he needs some colours and some squeaky toys. So. Oh, Richard's got it. Richard's got the real explanation in chat. Does he? Yeah. Uh, okay, do you want to read it out, Dave? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I can sound that insane. Uh, all the story means we are the flood. Samples of animals are taken from this planet. The Ark is landing on a new Earth. Angels both collect and distribute the animals on an Earth. Easy. Math Pig, what do you say? Uh, I'm good with that. <laughs> what you Alien overlords! Alien overlords! Alien <laughs> overlords! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in all honesty, Richard, as much as I disagree with you, <laughs> um, that makes way more sense than anything. Way you more sense. Than <laughs> <laughs> Is it, isn't that shocking when something like that can make more sense than anything that comes out of Ken Hoven's mouth? <laughs> so, no. all praise the mighty aliens who saved us all. How are we still on the first fucking bit? We are. I know. We need to hurry. Hurry. Rock. Time the ocean ice caps are melting back, and so the oceans are getting deeper, which is starting to separate what used to be land bridges are now underwater, and now there are islands water. and water. continents water. like Australia <laughs> that used to be I part of Asia. Was here so bad. All right, that's the end of this one. You think you'll see this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, you mean, I thought you meant Ray. Name being mentioned. Hmm. You will wait in a couple of weeks. Jen will be will be on there. Uh, with her name on a on a SpongeBob, being uh, twatted with a hammer. No, this is exactly probably, why I, I had, it, had her do it on her channel and not mine. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll do all of us, so that's fine. I don't care. If you're watching mm -hmm. this, Ken, at any point, you are an absolute dick. Yeah, you're. Cunt. And if you want to whack us and whack an atheist, go for it. We don't give yeah. a shit. Oh. Please come after me. I <laughs> love it if yeah, you go, came after me, Kenty Poo. Yeah, go after Mommy go girl. After Kate. She's yeah. been she's been dying for the opportunity. <laughs> Kent, you don't have a dick. You're a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. 
Well, Actually, I think he's an song. asshole. You know that music video that went around a bunch of oh, years yeah. ago? You're an asshole, aren't you? Can't that one? The, the one oh, no, it's a few of fucktards. Why do I keep thinking it's asshole? It's your fucktard, Ken. I don't you're know why I keep mixing that up. Aren't you, Ken? Anyway. All right, go on. Go on. Yeah. Well, are we done? Or there's, there's another thing. There's philosophy not even halfway evolution through. Is, I know, is, I know, I know. We're done with the first part. Yeah, we're done with the first one. Yeah. Okay. Evil. It's not yeah, just dumb. It. It's, oh, wait, wait, wait. it's. Hold on. Pause it real quick. I have to step away, but I I have gopher wood for sale, so <laughs> it, 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 I, I can prove. That <laughs> he is gopher wood. He's a dot good for gopher wood for ages. Ages. Nobody wants to buy it. Nobody. Well, I got okay. it. What the hell's gopher wood? I'll even paint on it for you. I'll do a beautiful painting. Quality you don't know what go for wood is. No, go for wood. It's wood that no goes really. to cheese off a tree, I assume. Yeah, go go for wood is the magic wood, wood that Noah used. Ah. Oh, see, I was picturing something else entirely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He's, he's going to paint on one of the. I wouldn't have thought it'd be big, that one of those would be big enough to paint on. A, a gopher's particularly well endowed. Yeah, I don't think so. So, uh, how big is it, Sal? <laughs> Gophers used to be a lot bigger in the past. Really <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll the next one. It does stretch. That, that's the weird thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Requires the magical. To the that's the magical wood. That's what it is. All right. All right, all right let's go on. Let's play. The philosophy of evolution is is evil. It's not just dumb, it's dangerous. Wouldn't you say, Dr. Oven, wouldn't you agree that uh, the, the real core of why these false ideas of uniformitarianism and evolutionism even exist is that they're inspired by Satan. They're lies from the devil, and right. he's, yeah. he's using them. No, 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 uh, they're as bad as each other. Mm. I suppose it depends on the factors you're weighing. Yeah. Right? Because Nephilim I mean, I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed to call the other one a cup. <laughs> and Hovind is quite funny. But if you're talking about the information they're conveying, then it's a toss-up. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Uh, can't Hovind but, a I mean, I have to ask, though. though it, it's it, not a good thing. <laughs> if, if evolution is inspired by Satan, I have to ask, to what end? Like, what's the goal of fooling oh. us into thinking that evolution happened? Because people that believe in evolution lose their faith in God very often. That's it? Yeah. It's to but take you away but, from belief in God. But there's things out there who think that God made evolution happen. They, made oh, they don't it, believe they exist. They're not. They're, they're not. not, they're not, uh, they're not the creation, creationists have to stick exactly to Genesis. And, and I've explained this before. When it comes to creationists, they're more about the book of Genesis than they are even about Jesus. That's yeah. more important to them. And Jen, I I have a Kent's uh, office number, if you want to call it. Apparently, scientist Mel has done it a couple times. Do you want me to send it to you? No, I'm not calling him. <laughs> we can call okay. him now. We can call him now. Yes. Dave, what about you? You want to call him? Like if I send you the number? Oh. See, you no, I just have to. I just have to use that him. <laughs> All right. You're stealing right. my plan. You're stealing my plan. <laughs> you did not pick up the number from. I was like, I'm totally going to give this number to Dave and get Dave to phone Canto when that would be gold. Oh. All, right, Dave. Come on, Dave. All right, we'll play. Them to trick the world. Wouldn't you agree? Well, if you look at the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter 3, there are three things to see. It was Satan interacting with Eve. The first words out of the devil's mouth recorded for us, Satan came to Eve and said, Yea, hath God said... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's wait, 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 wait. He always does. He starts off... Satan. It says nowhere that that was Satan. No, it's just... A... Yeah, I was thinking yeah. the same thing. Because it's what? very interesting that um, God cursed the Satan to crawl on its... Be... The, sa... the, 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 the serpent. serpent to crawl on its belly forever. 
Well, we see Satan moving uh, around later in the thing without crawling on the belly. So it's either Satan is more powerful than God and just goes, ah, oh, fuck that, I'm not going to be cursed. Or it's not Satan. Well, wouldn't this imply also that the snake during the Garden of Eden scene had legs? And they were taken away to force it to slither forever? In which case it was a um, lizard? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But but that would imply well, evolution, well, even evolution done by God. So clearly the snake, may, oh, I got it. He was in the tree and God said, no, no, you're not allowed on the furniture anymore. You're on the ground, bitch, is what happened. But we still get snakes in trees. Mm -hmm. So they're defying God and God does fuck all about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's mm -hmm. a pretty shitty, useless God, isn't it? <laughs> My, my my thing was always like, didn't if if he could see everything, didn't he see them doing that? Like, okay, maybe he knew about okay. it. You you think that's a problem? Why the fuck did he put the tree there? Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, or he put the apple on a really high branch and, and not let Adam and Eve invent it. ladders. But, but let's assume that the snake was was a representation of Satan. All this, mm -hmm. the saint did was said, if you eat this apple, you'll know what the difference is between good and evil. You'll have knowledge. That's a good thing. Knowledge is a fucking good thing. Kent right. would do well to actually have some fucking knowledge. And has well, no knowledge. And, and clearly Adam and Eve were going around accidentally doing evil all over the place because they didn't know any better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh no, evil, they didn't did... think evil existed. Evil <laughs> didn't exist before... before... Eve. Before. Uh, then how would they have knowledge of it? Okay, uh, they did. Okay, okay, so there was no evil before they ate the apple. So basically, God condensed all the evil he could think of into this piece of fruit so that the people wouldn't eat it. <laughs> okay, okay. I well, may but, but ever so minute. slightly have to straw man here. Because as best as, I can recall, <laughs> as best as I can recall, right... God created all the sin, all the evil, right? But it didn't, he didn't release it until they ate the apple. Yeah, so God's a prick. Yeah. Well, and also God's the apple gives them the knowledge of good and evil, not just evil. And mm. they're supposed to be in paradise, but they don't know it's good. So apparently paradise is extraordinarily dull until you eat that apple. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I've always wondered this. Did they eat the whole apple or did they just take a bite? That I've never got clear. Well, it was a banana. It, actually, it wasn't an apple. It was a pomegranate. Just a fucking... It was a banana. Did they eat the whole thing? There was no <laughs> bananas <laughs> back then. I don't know. I think it would have been a lot more interesting if it was the pumpkin of good and evil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Yes. Only then it wouldn't be a tree. It'd be a vine. So The celery stalk of good and evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cucumber. Very dildo-esque. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, well, that's more suspicious than a nun doing squats in a cucumber field. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we continue? Continue. Of questioning. Are you sure the Bible oh. says that? That's what all these new Bible versions are about. Questioning. What does God really say? Well, you better stick with the King James if you want to get the real word of God. Second thing he said to the woman. I'm sorry, I can't take that seriously. <laughs> I don't understand how they justify the King James. Yeah, because the King James was torn to shit anyway. And a lot of stuff was added extra into it as well. Yeah, so, it, it, yeah. it was the, the whim of the um, English aristocracy at the time. <laughs> it's, it's fuck off. Plus, and, and, uh, apparently, the all-powerful, all-knowing God can't get the Bible right on the first go, and that's why we needed the King James. Yeah. Look, look, it's because was, God, wasn't it's King English James um, by, too, I think? Oh, yeah. No, he was definitely diddling with the young ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. so he, he was into the twinks. Yeah. <laughs> well, the King James is most true because, you know, God's too angry. angry. That's why. Exactly. Yeah. Because reasons. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll continue. He says, you shall not surely die. So first he raised doubts, and then it's outright denial. That's what evolution is, an outright denial of God's word. God's word no, says God made isn't. heaven and earth. Evolution says no, He didn't. Okay, Dave, you're gonna bust if you don't go on. <laughs> say it. Say what you gotta say. Got nothing to do with their fucking God. 
accurate description of what is observed. Um, it's dumb. Why do they take it? You don't. Okay. Is it just too, too you okay now, Dave? I'm, I'm, I'm pulsing. <laughs> no, I'm done. <laughs> it's just, it's just, all right, I can't go. comprehend them saying it <laughs> over and over again. It's just got nothing to do with their religion. It's a fucking model that does nothing to their religion. I they just well, have to have something to attack. Well, I mean, obviously Christians have that persecution complex, so if anyone disagrees with them, they have to take it personally. Oh, they, right. they actually yeah. think they're the most persecuted minority. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. no, it's worse than that, though, isn't it? Because they believe in super fucking evolution. Yeah. What the... We already what said the fuck that, is super evolution? What? What do you mean by that, Dave? I, I don't know if I've ever heard that term. What do you mean Have by you that? Know, oh, creation, most creationists seem to believe in the idea of super evolution, so that oh, the only animals that were on the ark were one, were two or seven of each type. And then yeah, after so you they only came have off the ark, within a couple of hundred years, we Jen. had all the diversity of life we Jen. have now. Sorry. Jen, he was <laughs> fucking explaining it. Can you just let Dave finish? <laughs> what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I won't stick up for you again. <laughs> no, 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 that's good, Norman. <laughs> he paused. I took over. I he breathed, breathe, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought you were going to explode if I didn't let you breathe for longer. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll you, you carry on. <laughs> well, somebody's wrong. But the third thing Satan said, he said, Eve, if you eat off that tree, you can be like God. He offered her deity. He did not. No, he he offered her knowledge. That that not. This no. is why Kent's a oh. dumb fuck, because he believes that having knowledge makes him a god. So he doesn't have knowledge, he's just a stupid fuckwit. Okay, but here's, here's the question, though. The Genesis was that, where, where the snake said, Eve will make you a god. Yeah. yeah. Well, you look, have a look, look that up. and Amanda will say um, it. Yeah, my question is this, though. Okay, so God, whatever, puts this tree in there and tells them, you know, not to eat from it. But they don't have wisdom or knowledge, so how do they know what they're going to do is wrong if they eat from it? It doesn't make any fucking sense. How does he expect no, them is, to follow it's rules it's and no morality if they don't have that? Yes. How do they know it's wrong? wrong? What? How do they know it's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he told them not to do it, but oh, he, they don't is. know right from wrong well, just because they don't have that knowledge. And, 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 and my pig asked me this. Why the fuck did he even put that tree there in the first place? Well, to tempt them? Is it a test? Why? Is okay, Genesis 3.5. Yep. Okay. Genesis 3.5. For God doth know that in the day we eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. I mean, it doesn't sound like you'll be turned into a god. It just says being like God means knowing stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, remember, I pissed off my grammar school teacher like in second grade when when we went went over that. And then I went to Catholic uh, private school and I pissed her off when I asked her the same question and she just totally evaded it. And those were one of the things that I was like, "Yo, what what are we talking about here?" I never believe in this shit. Yeah. So well, this nun, did she give you a paddling? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, well, no. My kindergarten teacher, she would she would spank the kids. She would beat the, like she would beat them. She she'd spank the shit out of them. Sister Mary Alice. She was a sweet little woman, but you pissed her off, she'd spank you. Spank your buddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, Shall go we ahead. Go? Whoa, and she fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. And that's the same thing today. Evolution teaches we started off like an amoeba, and we're getting bigger, better, stronger, smarter, and someday we get to be God, and we're going to sail around the universe and discover new life forms like Star Trek. On what planet <laughs> does evolution say that? Yeah, I know. It's just In the third type of evolution. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I, honestly, he sounds like a Star Trek writer. When they, you know, some 
crew member gets randomly changed into a weird mutant thing and they're like aha uh-huh, it's another stage of evolution it like they're somehow like level Mormonism. like humans level up until eventually we're gods you get enough like like evolution xp and you become a god no it doesn't work like that isn't that mormonism though where you 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 get you level yourself up well it, uh, the dudes do anyway the women don't they, oh. they level themselves up until they become gods of their own pl- planets and have their own creation well, but they have to die first to do it. So oh, that's, that's like sort of the opposite yeah. of leveling up. <laughs> but Leveling down six foot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Anything else? No, I'm good. People ask me all the time, Hovind, do you think there's intelligent life on other planets? I say, man, I taught high school 15 years. There's not much intelligent life on this planet. Oh, oh said, come on. Could you avoid the question worse? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, no, it's, it's a oh, dreadful, teenagers yeah. are stupid. It's a dreadful joke, isn't it? I had to leave it there just to just to show that he dragged a joke out of the 60s just to... What my my fucking right 16-year-old could run mental circles around this motherfucker, and he's a what dumbass, the, so... What bothers me right now is that Jen has intentionally put this together as things that will annoy us. <laughs> 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 it's not hard. Um, Almost everything that comes out of his mouth is fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, but it's easier to take it personally, some of this stuff. Yeah. Right. Shall we hit the next one? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got this Richard Madsen here asking me, how does it work then? Like, like I assume you mean evolution and all of that. But, I mean, I, I think the question misunderstands my objection. So, uh, and the, and the questions malformed anyway because um, there, there's no aim in evolution. There there is no target. Evolution doesn't have a goal. Evolution right. yeah. just is. You know, well, like, and that's the mistake yeah. I hear people making a lot. Where where they they look at a creature that has wings and can go, and can fly and go, ooh, that's really neat. That's totally sexy, and therefore that's a higher stage of evolution. But I know there's insects that, because of selection pressures, don't use their wings anymore. Maybe mm-hmm. not even have them. I don't remember exactly. Uh, just because it was less advantageous to have them, or they just were superfluous. So it's not like adding a feature or losing a feature is better or worse for the creature necessarily. There's so no there, such thing as more or less evolved. So, right. so, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, this idea that, uh, you know, like like evolution is eventually going to make us gods misunderstands the entire thing. I object to my point. I object to my point. <laughs> We're talking about Ken. There is something as less and less evolved. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're you're talking about Shatner, right? <laughs> no, Steve McRae. You're talking about Steve McRae. <laughs> Are you saying should we could we actually read what he wrote? Uh, I think we did read what. Um, uh, Kate did read what you wrote, Richard. Yeah, it I might mean, be I didn't read all of it. I read the how does it work? Then what's the eventuality of changing environments and natural selection part? I left off, but still, I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure oh. this was addressed. Yeah, okay. the theory of evolution is about um, the changes in environments and natural selection to um, okay, ultimately in, you have in life, to take it. Evolution it, is random. Yeah, it's random. Natural selection is not. Mm, I always object to the idea of it being random. It's unguided, yes. No, no, that's not natural selection. Evolution itself is random. I, I disagree. Well, the mutations that um, mutations are random. The mutations are random. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. If, Hold on. Define for me specifically what you mean by random in this context. As in, there is, there is that 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 whether or not a mutation occurs, yes, is not in any way predetermined. It is random. Well, yeah. Uh, well, hmm, see, I, I mean, okay, myself, I'm a bit of a determinist. Uh, so I, am I. I. That's the worst thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I, mean, I, I will say that, that, evo- uh, that mutations are unguided, that they are not consciously done. Yeah. But I think that, that the, uh, like, just the laws of physics and everything comes together in such a way that, that it would have happened anyway. I think right? like, I, that it's not, it's not like, like it, it, would, would you agree chaos theory applies? 
Uh, again, I have to ask you to be more specific. In the context, <laughs> in the context that the start from the starting premises, you cannot predict the position of something in the future. You uh, demonstrate with a double pendulum or weather system. I, to or, be honest, I, th I think that you can predict it if you know every factor. Yes, except, you can. Except. Okay. Except I, that the quantum level can introduce a little bit of randomness, maybe not enough to really affect the outcome too terribly much, though. Um, I, I mean, we use simulations in my job. You have to, it, they're, they're computer simulations to figure out where a population is going, but you can also use it to see it, it, on, a, on a basic level how, how, you know, a species might evolve in, in the short term. And Yes, you can put, you can kind of predict in terms of, you know, putting in everything, but you don't know everything. Your, your problem is like, take, for example, the, the, the moths, you know, the, the simplest thing, what thing that I can think of, the, the moth, the white moths that because of the coal fire plant that they lived near, you know, everything turned black. And so they eventually had to, you know, the black ones were the ones that survived because they were able to hide better and not be eaten. You cannot, unfortunately, you can't predict when, you know, something is going to change like that. And, and it's, it's difficult. I understand where you're going with it, Kate, and I get it. Uh, I'm just saying that I'm not sure about, you know, any real sort of guide that, like predictability in, in terms of knowing where it's going. But I do, well, I do agree with both well, of you. There's an analogy I like to use on my videos a lot, where basically if you were able to roll the same dice the same way onto the same surface under the same conditions, you'll always get the same result. Yes. Right? Okay. Uh, and uh, it only appears random to us because we don't have the mental capacity to predetermine or to, to predict what's going to come up because we can't, again, with our head meets calculate all of the different bits of physics that will be working on the objects involved. And I yeah. think it's, it, but, but it's actually not random. It just appears so. And that's what I think about the mutations as well as we because we don't know anything about whatever factors will cause the mutation. Within the context of the universe, working to the set of rules, I complete, I, I, like I said, I, I agree. I'm pretty much, down on determination. Okay. So, uh, uh, so we might just be down to a uh, uh, an argument about semantics then. Yeah. Um, no, I think. But, I, like I mean, I the said, problem is though that these creationist types, when they say random, they they don't mean the same thing I would mean if I said random, and it gets in the way. The the nonconformity. I think speech. fighting them on it because they try to dismiss random. I mean, again, you look at the amount of of. Um, the, uh, of, 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 of radiation that cause mutations. Yeah. Now, um, that's yeah. the sort of random well, we're talking about. Well, but um, I mean, that, have... go on. Um, um, so, so you, you, if you get, if you knew that what everything was, yes, you could predict it. But from the perspective of talking about random, we can't get much more random if, if we, we don't really have a meaning for random that's much more random than that. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure I'd necessarily say that randomness even exists except on the quantum level. And even then, it only uh, may appear random. I don't know. But yeah. I, I mean, um, I don't know. I, I guess it's just because when they say, oh, it randomly evolved, and then they start throwing around tornado in a junkyard kind of stuff, monkeys typing out Shakespeare, infinite monkeys, infinite typewriters, all of that stuff, where they, they try to, dis, like you say, dismiss randomness by basically defining it in such a way that it can be dismissed, regardless of what's actually meant by the proponents. Of the problem you've got is if you go the other way, you have to go down determinism. Hmm. Which uh, we're we're stuck with the same problem as being as as being completely unprovable, and, and current theories don't help. Wait, how are how is it unprovable? Because well, it's unproven. No, not not unprovable. It is unproven, and quantum mechanics makes it very difficult hmm. at the moment to 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 say with any certainty that it's true. Okay. 
That's what I, I mean, would say. I mean, I, 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 guess I guess firmly agree. doubt in that. that I, I think I think we're in agreement on what we believe reality probably is. Mm. I just think oh, us trying to convince a creationist of it. Well, sure. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not arguing with uh, with that point at all. Not I even believe slightly. you anyway, because you just totally remove free will. <laughs> well, there is I, no free think, will. I think free will is an illusion, personally. Oh, yeah, I do too, but that's not the point. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sorry, but to me, determinism is is just a, a, a false predicate. There is no determinism. I don't. I just even with all the predictions that you could do, the Determinism to what exactly it is that you're looking for will never, ever be exactly what you want it to be. Ultimately, you can well, never have that's determinism. That's a fault on our part. Ultimately, you can never have determinism unless, of course, you can solve um, the uncertainty within um, quantum mechanics. Yeah, you're saying mm -hmm. that I don't think that small level affects the rest, but just look at us. Um, most of our mutations come from the radiation that, is? that comes from the sun or from the planet around us, and they are that radiation is highly, highly dependent on quantum mechanics. That little, those little, those quantum um, um, things. Sorry to say it this way, uh, the stuff we see in the quantum world actually represents us on, on, a, on a much bigger scale. I mean, when you think about the way we actually interact, think. Um, are just in general, I see the quantum world just just in a, in, a, in a bigger version. We're trying to make sense of it instead of letting it be. I mean, eventually you're gonna all we're gonna keep doing is finding a parrot because that's all that keeps coming up because that's what it takes to keep things going. And that's the quantum world. Even I even must a... admit for you, it sounded like you said that all we'll find is a parrot, and I don't think that's well, what I thought. Parrot. Parrot. I parrot. parrot as well. Sorry, parent. <laughs> Parent. 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 Yeah. Sorry. The other thing is that um, there's strong evidence to suggest that um, quantum effects actually, actually um, are take place within our brains. So our mm -hmm. brains are quasi quantum computers. Yes. In a sense. So even at that level, a sheer level of randomness in the way a brain can function is huge. So. Yes. And, and again, it goes back to me experimenting with um, my pain and realizing what I'm capable of and what I'm not capable of and how random it is that there is no control. No matter how much control you think you're in, there's, there's always the inevitable that you have to face. The only determinism is the cycle that you go through, you begin and you end. Yeah. And you, you try to make sense of that by um, fighting off the pain and, and putting yourself in another world. But... At, at the end of the day, you return to the world you live in. So it, it, it's just there's no there's no there's no way to determine what's going to happen when how exactly it, it just happened. I was fine yeah. yesterday. Today I'm not. Yeah, but, but you're saying right. you can't. We can't determine it from from, from our macro vision of the of the universe. That doesn't mean that the universe isn't deterministic. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, there's no, too much. It doesn't. But, um, we'd have to. There's too much. You would have to show that quantum mechanics itself is deterministic. Right. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I don't think we can. No. I, I know. I don't think we can that. now. No, we're too small. Yeah, I don't think we can small. ever. We're too small. I, well, I think we I might know, be. Again, we go back to I whether. Don't know, uh, I don't know if I, I totally agree with that, John, because I think um, it not. I don't want to say the science evolves because that doesn't make sense, but. Our, our ability to understand the science evolves. Well, yeah, I can't and, completely rule out that we could ever nut out quantum mechanics to the point where there is no uncertainty in it. But yeah, I'm just saying. Given the experimental... There are a couple of ways, now, though. I'm not sure that there is a way we can do it. Even with pilot wave no. three, you still have... We need to achieve the speed of light. No, well, no, even the, the, the stuff that's the... Oh, God in hell, I've forgotten what it is. The universal wave theory. Yeah. Where yeah. we're all part of, um, because that again, lo you lose the randomness. You don't, though. right? Yeah, there is still no, random no, fluctuations within the waves themselves. That's what actually brings it to a point of undeterminism. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I, think, was... I think we need to get back. Yeah, to yeah let's get back. On the, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the whole line. Scientific the whole line. At, that was so. fun. That was fun. We'll get we'll get into that some more. <laughs> I, and I apologize to Ken Hovind if you're watching this. We probably just spoiled your brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
missed a whole bind. I have What's up? Uh, my longtime friend on the phone, Bill Sardi, who's one of the trustees of our ministry. Bill is a genius on nutrition and health, and I called him earlier and said, Bill, what's the truth about this coronavirus? What do we do? What's really happening? Is this an election year stunt? You know, that kind of stuff. So, Bill, welcome to the program. Tell folks about your ministry on vitamins and nutrition, and you've been a great blessing. I can't keeping me alive. concentrate so with that fucking shirt. Oh, my God. Right now that he said coronavirus, have one. Sorry? Now that he said now that he said coronavirus, can I call can I call him cunt COVID? Cunt COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is where we get down to cunty COVID, not just fucking shilly fucking Christian COVID. He, he's a cunt for this. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna press play. Well, we're never gonna get through. Hey, this. there you go, Bill. Thank you so much for joining us here. Tell folks about this coronavirus. What should they do? Should they do? What's the real truth behind it? Is this an election year scam? Uh, it's used to get more government intervention. Or, go ahead. Well, the Romans just told everybody to stay inside. Would you trust them? No. Uh, if the Romans no. told everyone to stay inside, would you trust them? He, he's basically oh, hinting, oh. he's basically so, hinting so that the authorities that. are telling us about the, to stay inside, so we shouldn't trust them. I honestly thought he had said that the Romans told us to stay inside. Like, we're taking our marching yeah, orders from Italy if. or something. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, Italy's pretty fucked right now, so that would have been not great, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I saw an article recently that said there is uh, no evidence to suggest that garlic staves off the coronavirus. And I was like, well, Italy's suffering pretty bad, so probably, but you know, better <laughs> safe than sorry, so yeah. Right. I, I mean, well, I, I'd still say garlic works on vampires. Have you ever met an Italian vampire? I rest yeah. my case. <laughs> you. Right. I'll continue. They took away what just happened, so. Um, yeah, it, it's political posturing, we call it. And, uh, what should the attitude be? Well, I hope, I really hope he is dumb enough to have to people, go out? To, yeah, to have people visiting his fucking place at the moment. He is. <laughs> yeah. He is that dumb. Watch, keep listening. It gets really bad. <laughs> Did you actually do the homework? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is really bad. Keep listening, guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is going to affect the election year. Oh, yeah. It is winter. It is where the Earth has tilted away from the sun in northern lands. <laughs> so we don't get right. enough sunshine and we don't get enough vitamin D. And when it gets cold, we wrap ourselves up and don't get. We get even less sunshine. So it's it's vitamin D dominated. And uh, I guess we're going to have to send a supply of vitamin D to Dinosaur Adventure Land and to all you folks down there. Yeah. So if, um, if, a, if a person gets lots of vitamin D and vitamin C, does the coronavirus not affect them? Or what's, what's, what are you saying there? Well, the coronavirus was running around months before. And so were the flu viruses. And we know their cycle, the coronavirus comes in November. And Wait, what? Stop! Stop! Continue, rewind, go back, go back, and let him continue. You need to listen to this. Go back, go. You, okay, fuck you, Sal. All right. All right listen, listen, play, and then listen you can what ask what what are you saying there? Well, the coronavirus was running around months before, and so were the flu viruses. And we know their cycle, the coronavirus, comes in November and stays around until about April. So we got to... Yep, he's just said there's a cycle of coronavirus and we have it every year. To go outside and get sun. Well, technically, the common cold is a coronavirus. Yeah, it's I, I know, but... Uh... Not... He's it's... about to tell everybody to go outside and get sun, because that's going to cure the coronavirus. Yeah. Play, 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 play. I'll play. About another month of this, uh, concern. The vitamin oh, D gonna... levels drop. So it's be gone. They were all oh great. shit! Is this why Trump oh, thinks that he can go out at Easter? Probably. Probably. 
Oh, a lot, there are a lot of articles I've seen saying, oh, yeah, the summer temperatures are going to kill the coronavirus, just like oh. it does with the flu, because we yeah. have flu season, we'll have corona season. Hey, hey, uh, 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 so being I that wish it, I was kidding. We're all going to die, man. Being, We're all going to die. Being that it was just summer there, you guys have no fucking coronavirus, right? Oh, none, no, no, at all? none at all. That's why I'm in isolation. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Africa, Africa doesn't have the coronavirus, so you know. Yeah. Africa, absolutely, there, Africa is so fucked. It's just behind. Wait, the wait, wait. We need to pull up a map, Jen. Can you find a map? Oh, they, one of those maps everywhere. Fucking Florida has it. What? It's not fucking it's not down all there. All over the planet. I'm in Southern California. Granted, we don't have a lot of cases in San Diego, but we have enough. I'm in LA. And so. I'm in Georgia. It's it was 85 fucking degrees today. My town is fucking riddled with it right now. Yeah, LA, LA's a ghost town. LA's a fucking ghost town. I, I, I was like, went out today for the first time in a couple of days. I was like, oh shit, everything's closed. There's nobody out there. I'm, I'm downtown. I have to admit, it does sound kind of fun to walk around outside when the yeah. entire town's deserted, like it's a zombie movie or some shit. Yeah. That sounds like an absolute yeah. blast. But I suspect the authorities would have a little. Sam answered yeah. your ca your question, Amanda. Uh, Twenty four cases were spread at Bondi Beach <laughs> the other you weekend. Go. So uh, that uh. that summer, well, autumn yeah. Australia. You you didn't play it yet, but this prick's about to tell everybody to go out and get sun. Yeah, he is. Are you there? Oh yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Okay, so if a person gets plenty of vitamin D, sunshine, etc., they're less likely to be affected by this virus. Is that what you're saying? You need to stay outside if you can in a sunny area. Now, you're not getting as much vitamin D, so I would suggest that people take the vitamin D pill. Sorry, I was swearing at you. If you're an adult, 8,000 <laughs> units. If you're a child, 2,000 or more. Right, whomever that guy is, is fucking those evil. Those overdoses. Yep. And actually, if you start to come down with a cold or the flu, I, I would suggest that adults take 50,000 units. For three days. Wait, that's not stop. an overdose. It's not an stop. overdose. No, it's not. You pee it out. That's what happens if you take lots of. No, 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 no. Though over time, because I I am very vitamin D deficient, um, so I have to take vitamin D, and I know for a fact that over a period of a few months, if you take sixty thousand uh, milligrams of vitamin D, like every day, you'll it is toxic. Liver. Yeah, you'll damage it, your yeah, liver. Yeah, it, it is toxic. So. These, you know, this is going on for months. So you're telling these people to be taking sixty fucking thousand milligrams or fifty, whatever the fuck you said, close enough every day, and this is going to go on for months. He's going to fucking kill somebody. Yeah, well, and you know, I was talking about that sort of thing on like Facebook and Twitter about how it's hard to have sympathy for people who are doing really stupid things and basically earning themselves Darwin Awards. Like, you know, the people who are having chicken pox parties for uh, the, the coronavirus for COVID-19 because they think they'll get it and what? it'll be a less severe case mm -hmm. and therefore they'll develop an immunity just like they do with chicken pox and all that stuff. And it's hard to have sympathy for those people. It's hard to, to um, you know, to, to not point and laugh. And right now, it's hard to do that with these folks, too, where if, if they do end up killing people with this horrible advice, it's like part of me wants to have sympathy, but part of me really, really can't. I'll, I'll have sympathy with the people who let die. I'm not having sympathy with them. They're absolute pricks. Well, but those people, even the people who listen to these folks, should at least do a little bit of extra research to, to make sure to verify. Does someone want to screen crap this? Um... Cut out the words that he's got there and say, just I'm a smug cunt. Perfect. <laughs> also, how yeah. much cooler would it be if dinosaurs really were dragons? Oh, yeah. That would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Right, I got to press play again. <laughs> My, dragons are smart, though. 100,000 units in a single day for winter time protection. They're, the vitamin D is stored in the liver for... You should have three months of vitamin D in your liver. You probably don't. So you need... The, what? Uh, if you take... Vitamin D, build, it, you don't store it. It builds up in your liver, and that's where, that's where you can get... Um, you need to store vitamin D. Conditions. You so, need to store vitamin D in your liver. Yeah. Uh, I'm watching... 
I'm watching Kent react to this, listening to this guy, and I'm I'm just getting from the expressions he makes and his body language that he really has no idea what's being said to him. Oh no! Like no. even if he went right or wrong, this is way past his pay grade, and it's just written all over his face. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shall we play? Yeah. Fifty thousand. You have an antibiotic effect. So he's saying you take enough vitamin D and you end up making antibiotics in your own body. Yeah. He said 50,000 cc. Yeah. This man is dangerous and Hovind yeah. is promoting him. Yeah. Selling his products, actually. Yeah. Oh. His idea. His idea, yeah. This is disgusting. This is especially in this time of crisis across the world. It's fucking dangerous. You don't yeah. know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. This is part. This is, again. We go back to the key problem here. It's creationism that creates the people that believe this bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised at. But the numbers are so large of people who actually believe it. Oh, it's, that's it's amazing. Surprising. Yeah, that's really, what you really get crazy. when you can you shield people from, from education. Yeah. yeah. Are What's like are most of the world's dumbass creationists in my country? Yes. No. No, it's really? Why? But I think the majority is in America. The problem is you've got to take into account Islam. Okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, and an awful lot of Muslims. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about Christian. Yes, specifically, a lot, them, a lot of them are. I mean, I mean, again, you've got to take into account Catholics. I think Catholics are like think, that. No, I think, hey. I think a lot. Of, uh, there is quite a few younger. I'm Catholic. Catholics. I was Catholic. I was raised um, Catholic. Although too. I tend to think they tend to be in South America, and I'm wondering if I'm getting that wrong. Um, you're not in the polls. In the polls of, of Catholics, in talking about evolution and creationism, um, and the age of the Earth, I think I think it comes down to about between forty and fifty percent of Catholics tend to come down on that side. Although saying that, they don't tend to be the extremists like these guys. Look, no, 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 no I don't no. remember. No, that's not. I don't yeah. remember extremism like this at all. In, Never. I, yeah, I, yeah. Again, I went to Catholic school my entire life. Okay, I. Uh, first grade all the way through um, high school, and I went to an old boys high school. All right, so um, I there was no there was no fanatic, there was no um, creationism. There was like it was science. It was all about science, math. You would you were taught religion. You were taught that Jesus wasn't fucking real. Like like you were taught real shit. It, it was about education and moving forward and progression. That's been lost, and all this create this Christian creationism has seems to have taken over. The the, the education system is dumbed the fuck down. And people like Ken Hovind don't even count Catholics as Christians. So, Right. Well, and, you know, I mean, listening to these creationists talk about how they think the universe works, how they think reality works, it reminds me of nothing more than uh, coming up with your own fictional universe, you know, a sci-fi fantasy universe that has a system of magic and how it works, or here's how the engines propel this ship forward using nothing that resembles real life science whatsoever, but you've still come up with your own rules. And it sounds like, and they're consistent within the universe you've created. And that's what it sounds like they've done is created a fictional fantasy universe yeah. with its own rules that, mm -hmm. They're a resemblance to reality, but have nothing to actually do with it. I mean, I'm reminded of that so strongly. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's crazy and dangerous. All right, I'm going to press play again, or else we're never getting through these. Okay. So, um, yeah. that's what I suggest. And uh, vitamin C and, and uh, zinc. So, C, D, e, and zinc are the key nutrients you need to keep your immune system working properly. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, zinc is needed for little kids and for adults, and the zinc makes T cells. T cells are thymus cells. Well, the zinc doesn't actually make T cells. We make, the, our bodies make the T cells. Yes, it uses zinc in them, but 
we use things in lots of bits and pieces and bobs in our bodies, so. I thought you said seashells. Yeah. I was no, very I confused. I seashells too. I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should I hit press play again, or does somebody else want to make comment? No, go ahead. Okay. Go on. And they make memory immunity, so if a vaccine makes the antibodies, then they're lifelong and protects you from measles or chicken pox or what have you. So you need the zinc. He looked like he was really waiting for his turn to speak. Like he wanted the guy to shut up so he could get an edge in word wise. Yeah, when he eventually did speak after that, because I didn't put that in it, all he did was shield the guy. <laughs> As it suggested, yeah. everyone went and bought his products and from him. This guy, yeah, from not not from Ken, or they could buy it from Ken or directly from this guy. If they had any medical issues, to phone this guy and his his company. Don't go to your doctor. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not. This is exactly what Ken did. He promotes. No, I'm sorry, but this kind of shit, this and the anti-vaccine oh, shit. I'm sorry, it needs to be fucking prosecutable. Prosecutable. Yes. Prosecutable. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, it needs to be fucking tested against. Uh, this is where you get really. It's one of those stupid things. You need an advertising standards authority that will actually look at it. If this is advertising this stuff, and if it doesn't live up to the claims, it should be fucking prosecuted. Uh, mm -hmm. I agree. Well, you know about the uh, what's his face who's not allowed to sell his silver solutions anymore. You know, because uh, yeah. I forget his name, but he has that silver solution stuff that's supposed to be like this cure all. And they they told him, you are not allowed to sell this as a cure for Corona. Not allowed to do it anymore. And he's kind of pissed about it. But who am I talking about? Who's the guy with the silver solution? I forget his name. I know. Yeah. He, I can't remember his name either. I know who you're talking about. Uh, it's just crazy. Um, Daily Atheist has just joined us in the chat. And we've uh, no, it's so Jim cool. Baker. That's who it is. It's Jim Baker. Hmm. Yeah. A few others have jumped in and I've lost track of the track chat and I apologize for that. <laughs> All right, um, shall we la watch the last one? And I think everybody knows what the last one's going to be. Yeah, I might have to mute myself on this one. Yeah, okay. I'll press play. Uh, we had this last Sunday rumors going around the internet about an accidental drowning here at Dinosaur Adventureland, and it's true. There was a family Wait, stop, with. Stop, stop. Did drowning. you just say drowning? drowning. <laughs> with a D in the middle? Yeah, he says drowning. He well, says he also times. said et cetera, and that one made me cringe. Yeah. What? And what Isn't is it disgusting that he's got a picture of this kid? It, it, is the kid making a bowl with his tongue? What's happening? Yeah. I mean, it's not even a. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think we should really talk about the kid too much, except to say it's huh. disgusting that he should. No, I'm not talking about the kid. I'm talking about the fact that him putting up the picture of the kid alone, that's fucked. Yeah. That's not okay. This happened on his thing, and I, I'm sorry for people. I probably should have actually um, blanked out the picture myself, so I, we're going to play through this quickly. Um, I don't mean anything um, to the family of this child. Um, no, absolutely not. We know don't no disrespect to them at all. Uh, we are only no, at the end of the day. I think they've been treated fucking terribly by the fact that their kid died at this fucking horrific place. Yeah, uh, and he's a smug prick about it. Yeah, five kids, uh, twin seven year olds. Sorry? He's a con man and he knows it. Oh, yeah, I'm and, and pretty sure he to knows stand it. up and, and do something like that to broadcast anything about this is disgusting. Uh, yeah, oh, he made it all about himself. Gone. He, he should have just mentioned it and gone on, but hey, which is probably what we should do, but I want to point out what a prick he is. So. All playing in the lake together, the water was three feet deep. Suddenly the dad noticed that uh, Stephen, the seven-year-old, was gone. Uh, by the way, Kent, you can drown in three centimeters of water. So, you're a fuckhead. Yeah. And he apparently slipped on the dock and hit his head. Nobody saw it. We don't know, but he did drown in our lake. And uh, we tried to, your uh, wife is a medical doctor, and she's right there on the scene within, as soon as he got him out of the water, we don't know how long he was underwater, but she gave him CPR, did everything right, took him to the hospital. Their, their CPR do a proper <clears throat> being done right was, whenever he was out of the water. Yeah, I mean, it just, it's too late. We don't know what happened. 
Anyway, the kids had it. I don't know what happened. Do they not have cameras? You'd think they'd have cameras. At a public place like this with all these people, you'd think there'd be security cameras. Uh, on top of that, they've got a lake that the people can go to. This is a public premises. Shouldn't they be required to have um, lifeguards? Lifeguards? In a, it should be in America, I'm pretty sure. And check your Twitter again, Jen. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're, yeah, I, I could be wrong. It also wouldn't shock me if, like, a medical examiner could determine how long the kid had been dead. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I'm no, watching absolutely. too many crime shows where the forensic department can work magic, but still. No, I, I mean, in terms, if, if there's, the, the issue is you're talking about, you know, maybe a, a difference of, of 10, 20 minutes, and that's harder. It's easier when it's, you know, hours and, you know, it, it, you can't, it's not an exact thing. It's just a, a matter of ambient temperature and temperature differences. So a kid drowns and then is, is lost. They're not going to be, you know, they're not going to be no, not noticed that he's dead for hours. It's going to be 10, 15 minutes at most. So not that I'm sticking up for this shit. I'm just saying <laughs> they, they, it wouldn't be an exact time. I'm sure. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, go the ahead, point Jen. remains is he should have had lifeguards. People okay. watching the lake because you've got people on the lake. We don't know. Or what you know what? I guarantee well, you're you. You're supposed to know what happened, Kent. That's your fucking they, job. I bet you, if they do have lifeguards, they're fucking teenage kids that are volunteers. Ah, uh, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, all these yeah. staff are volunteers, aren't they? That's how they <laughs> manages to have this shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it occurs to me, like I. Uh, I have virtual reality. I have Google Maps VR. I could totally do like a flyby of Dinosaur Adventureland because I don't know what the place looks like from the air. And I'm curious now. I'm just saying. Total tangent. Ignore me. Does it not look like... I, I, I'm, sure, I'm sure I've seen a film with it in. I'm going to cover the playback. There was a guy with a hockey mask. Go on. Um, do you want me to continue? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, blast here and the dad wants to bring all the kids back and loves the place but there's one complete absolute idiot moron named robert Ooh. batty he's ah. a former irs agent they brought him out of retirement just to hassle me because their irs case against me looked sure. so bad they did so many things wrong and broke so many laws they said go make hoven look bad funny how he thinks oh, they broke laws but he's the one who ended up in prison <laughs> Why the fuck is that kid's photo on the page when he's talking about his fucking scam? Because uh, can't Hovind's a cunt. You'll see what happens. Yep, we'll get there. Shall I? I'll put play again. Yeah. yeah. Robert Batty. He did a Twitter thing. Uh, drowning at Kent Hoven Compound. Drowning. He calls us the Why compound. Why did he say that? I, I, he does everything he can to belittle us, okay? Uh, Not a batty, word. crazy, insane, you'll drive me batty. Oh, uh, let's see, similar words, mad, insane, odd, queer, eccentric, deranged, demented. You really have good to look at that guy. Guy. Robert batty. What does this have to anyway. do with anything? Okay, we have good Shut fishing up. here in our Fucking lakes, uh, so ignore what he says, please. Or you get on his Twitter page and explain to him sweetly. Shut up. Okay, go get a life. Just find oh something my God, did he do. just ask his fucking audience to go dogpile on this guy? He did. Yeah. That's Didn't exactly he? what he did. He asked wow. his audience to dogpile on them. He, uh, th wow. th this man's an absolute prick. Um, I, I mean, to to turn that thing into something about him, so that he can argue against the IRS and everyone who put him to fucking prison, which yeah. he deserved but, uh, for avoiding tax, I, you prick. So what? What Thunder Nipples there just said? I hate saying that, but what Thunder Nipples just said in the chat? I bet the family wants to come back and relive losing their child. Apparently, just a second, maybe I misheard him, but Kent said that they want to keep coming back. Apparently, they said this to him. Yeah, they yeah, they said they were dying. Wait to come back. Uh, they that gave says him something the about how bad indoctrination is that your kid can drown in this park, and you want to bring your other kids <laughs> oh. back. I don't, I don't believe for a second that the father was like, oh, it's okay, dude. I can't wait to come back here. No fucking way. No, no parent on this planet would ever fucking say that. No. Well, maybe, maybe they think they want to like relive their son's ascension into heaven or some shit. That's the only <sighs> yeah, way I can I imagine guess... someone justifying it to themselves. Yeah, um, this nipple is sanitizer is, is correct. After this, um, he does actually ask for donations. Um, 
but it's Jesus. not it's not for the family it's for yes the this, this this horrible thing that that happened because i was negligent in my own fucking park is so awful for me fuck you cunt give me a break sorry i told you i might have to mute myself i really might yeah, um, yeah. Th th this man is just an absolute prick there is there is nothing about him I think we can really like. <laughs> you know, if we do this again, we got to come up with some sort of Kent Hovind bingo cards and. <laughs> oh, <right>? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Because a drinking game would oh, kill us. Oh, I, I think, think yeah, right. next time we should maybe pick one of the other ones like um, Ken Ham or um, Ray Comfort. You free. Right, comfort. Go, let's do comfort first. Let's do comfort first. I got yeah. a lot of shit to oh, say oh, about that motherfucker. It's gotten to the point where I can't even tell them apart anymore just by name. Like I have to yeah, see their picture. That was hilarious. Pictures. When I sent you the yeah, you'd send me the video to watch, which I didn't do because I fell asleep because cats decided to snuggle me. But um, like, like until I put the video up and saw his face on the screen, I was totally picturing Ray Comfort in my head <laughs> from Kent Hovind. It just as I, bad I as Ray Comfort is, and the shit that Ray Comfort has said, which I, I think he's fucking disgusting too. Nothing comes close to this crap. Mm. Yeah, but I still fucking hate Comfort. I don't like I don't what know, Comfort Ray does. To the what he does to people and the way he when he does those stupid fucking interviews and he, oh. he turns that shit around on them and yeah i don't like that have you ever sinned are you ever a liar me, 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 me. <laughs> well then clearly you're deserving of hell me, 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 me. i'm not gonna prove it exists but anyway don't don't get me started <laughs> All right. so so get, there was another one i sent you too yes i know i'll have to figure that out in a sec but um i've got to figure out how i'm gonna display it because i haven't set up for that <laughs> Um, I will just dump it over the top of us, I think. Um, we've got a couple of pictures that people sent us, so, um... One person. Jasper One person. Sent us, so, uh, I believe there's some others somewhere, but, um... Twitter, from me. From, from, from Dave, yeah. Um, I will... Well, not from me, but, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to find the right one. Um... Okay. And this is the art wall. All right. So this was the first one. And then the chat can actually see it. Um, oh, God, there's more? Yeah. Um, so I think I left a little hovind. <laughs> uh, which is that first one where he's got his derpa derpa face. So. Um, okay, and I will turn that off so that I can bring up the second one because, um, ah, screw it, I don't care. Uh, that one. And, <laughs> and the one I asked for, I'm a smug cunt. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Thank you, Jassa. Yeah, thanks, Jassa. Uh, Thank you. All right, I will turn that off. I will... Now, you said you had someone that you'd sent me, Dave. Uh, yeah, from, uh, gonna go for it. Go for it. Oh, okay. So that's a Discord one, is it? I think. Yeah, we should be able to click on it. No All right. And if I, if I, <clears throat> this one here. Yeah. I mean, that image is old as dirt, but still. Uh, <laughs> what happened there? Okay. The window capture's not working for some. It's so fucking gross. <laughs> I think the level of arrogance to get that tattoo is... There we go. <laughs> oh, no. It's kind of... uh, I like my half sleeve better. Yeah, I, you know, Kate, I kind of want to steal that a little bit, but I won't. I promise. <laughs> That's just fucking messed up. That's the <laughs> that <laughs> is so messed up. All right. So hmm. we, we got three I mean, nice I mean maybe I'm there. overthinking this, but that's clearly the left hand. And if this person's right handed, well, I don't know, but. Yeah, anyway. I, I know. I thought the same fucking thing. Don't worry. I did. Huh? So. All right. All right. We will. 
close that off. And yeah. Cool. I'm glad we managed to put that up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, Jasser and Mathpeak. Mathpeak did that one? Yeah? No, gonna go for it. Gonna go for it. Gonna go for it. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Gonna go for it. Um, and um, Jasser, for those, that, that was awesome. Um, thank you to all the guests. Has anyone got any last thoughts on our lovely Cunt Hovind? I like cheese. I do like too. I don't. It's horrible stuff. Vile. Oh, but seriously, you guys, uh, Dave, Kate, Math Pig, Ease, thank you so much for coming tonight. I know this was a last minute thing. <laughs> um, does anyone have anything they want to shill for themselves? No. Subscribe to me or I'll hurt you. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to Kate or I'll fucking hurt you. Yeah, everyone should be subscribing to Kate. She's fucking amazing. Um, Dave's putting the shills out in the chat right now. So um, follow everyone, subscribe to everyone. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed to me yet, what the fuck are you doing? Subscribe. Love you guys. Um, hmm. Half a mo. I'm not even sure I'm subscribed. I should make sure of that. Uh, I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> She's subscribed to my channel. Man. Yeah, you know, I think I've managed to not subscribe How to you. Let's go. Did you do that, Kate? I, I don't know. No, I, right. I, I, I can't think... yell at you for that. Um, who was it the other day I, I was talking about? Okay, oh, fuck, I'm not even subscribed to you. I'm not even following you on Twitter. No, uh, ease. Was yeah, it that ease? was ease. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't even following you. Was like, what the fuck's wrong with me? Um, yeah. So we there all we do go. Okay. I fixed that. Oh, thank you, Kate. Um, so yeah, follow everyone that's in here. Uh, the links are in the chat at the moment. They will be in the description later. I just, I, did, I, I basically woke up and got into this, and after three and a half hours sleep, so um, oh. hence the screw ups. But yeah, I thank you, everyone. Um, is there anything coming up you want to mention on your channels? Oh. Actually, okay, it's not actually on my channel, but I'm working on a new webcomic. Unlike most of what I do, it's not narrative fiction. Uh, it's actually more like comic strip, like like newspaper strip format. Um, I, it's not out yet. I've only made 30 of them. I want to have enough of a buffer so that if I have to take a day off, I can. But um, it's called Head Meets. It's basically just random thoughts that go through my head. So they're not all funny. Some of them are just ponderings. But uh, it should come out in another month or two once I get enough of them ready that I, I feel confident to put it out. So. Kate, is this the um, the stuff you've been the pictures you've been putting on Twitter? Because I've seen some of it and they're amazing. Yes. Yeah, Thank I love you. it. Kate's love it. Yeah, that's the one. Amazing. So. Yeah. Um, Dave, you've got your quiz. My quiz, my critical questions, dumb yeah. questions. Yeah, hopefully yeah, we'll at, do better this time. <laughs> we'll go with at two p.m. GMT, wherever, whatever time that is, wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> GMT uh, is you, right, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, follow mm -hmm. Easyism on Twitter. Um, he does absolutely amazing artwork. If you want some artwork Thank you. done, yeah, you talk to Sal. He's brilliant. Um, yeah, he's got a Teespring. It's new. Go check it out. He's amazing. Seriously, one of the uh, he's a, he's such an amazing artist. He does a lot of work for me. He's done a lot of work for Math Pig. He's just yep. fucking great. And his website is easism.com. Please. And, and Matthew, who's your next interview? I don't know. I'm not sure. He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's actually Neil the sexual four atheist. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but who do you have after that? All right. Who do you have after Neil? Math big. Uh, so, <laughs> some annoying woman from Boston. I can't remember her name. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. It's been amazing. You, and um, yeah, it's really fun. We will, uh, well, yeah, well, uh, me and Amanda, we're, we'll have Critical Bitches on on the weekend. We've got Math Big as our guest. Hopefully, you won't be falling asleep. Um, oh, I'm right away. <laughs> um, we'll have a few other 
videos come out between Amanda and I on our, our various channels, on our two ch on our two channels, um, to help out with the lockdown and with COVID and everything. So keep an eye on our channels, see what's coming up. All the regular crew will be involved. So yeah. Um, oh, okay. Are you doing a gaming stream? You know, I want to, but earlier today I tried to do an unboxing stream and YouTube shut it down for copyright reasons, which is weird because it was me just babbling and opening presents. But apparently, I mean, maybe because I flashed a Stranger Things CD up there or had a Tron hey, hey, toy. Hey, 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 stop, stop. I don't want this well, to I mean, because the, 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 the Tron toy, like the copyright strike apparently was from Disney. So I guess even oh, showing. Disney are absolutely bastards uh, uh, so, i mean i don't oh. know if the whiplash stream will actually last past the first five minutes uh, i don't know we're doing a uh, quiplash on my channel this weekend too so you're well, i would to love to be part of that you're all talking still yeah. whiplash for yeah. me well, whiplash was main all right i did not when we planned this <laughs> shit we did not know you were doing it, okay? Yeah, it I stole it from Mr. Atheist. I stole it from Jimmy. He did it first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that yeah. either. So if people follow, make sure you subscribe, following Kate. If she's going to do the stream, she'll she'll tweet about it. She'll show up on her channel, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. that'll be an awful lot of fun because Quiplash is always fun. Uh, also, I have to figure out why OBS makes me sound like a robot all the time. <laughs> I'd... So... Okay, um, I I think that's that's pretty much everything. Um, go check out Manda's latest video; it was awesome, and I did the editing, so that's amazing. Um, and yeah, thank you everyone for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Have fun storming the castle. Good day, guys. Think critically. Bye. Stay home. And don't don't get run over. And please don't fall <laughs> on the selfie stick. Don't fall on your toilets. Shut the fuck up, Jen. Bye. <laughs> Bye.